What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today we have a product from Be Quiet. So Be Quiet was nice enough to send one of their Be Quiet Dark Power 12 750 watt 80 plus titanium power supply. This power supply goes for around $200 and maybe some of you guys are thinking right now, why should I spend $200 on a power supply? Now, who should buy this power supply right here? $200 titanium power supply. Personally, if I build a system with like $500 CPU and a $800 graphics card, I will definitely spend $200 on my power supply also. So I'm gonna go with a good power supply. So I don't have to worry about the power supply taking down my motherboard, CPU, graphics card. I don't wanna, I don't wanna worry about that. So this power supply here, uh, 80 plus uh, titanium power supply have uh, efficiency level all the way up to 95 0.9% does come with Japanese capacitor uh, rated for I believe 105 Celsius it does come with silent wing uh, fan I believe 135 millimeter really quiet fully modular power supply it does come with multiple uh, 12 rail good for SLI uh, you know it's hey $200 power supply better be good right so let me do a quick um, unboxing for you guys and show you guys what this power supply comes with now before i do the unboxing uh dark power 12 also uh offer like 850 watt power supply uh 1000 watt power supply and they also have dark power uh pro 12 offer i believe 1500 watt uh power supply and a 1200 watt power supply all right time for unboxing so right after you open the box you will find the user manual right here dark power 12 as you guys can see thousand watt okay 850 watt and 750 watt power supply all right nicely packed nice foam okay don't need that wow this power supply is really really heavy like you can tell by uh, like a weight of a power supply like you know this power supply definitely quality okay the build quality is really solid because again that's a 200 dollars power supply now you can see here be quite logo right here and dark part 12 name okay nice and chrome and here you guys can see the specs don't worry i'll read the specs for you guys real quick and back here you have the power on and off switch and the power connection right here three pin here and then like i told you guys this power supply is fully modular so this power supply does come with enough uh sata plugs for your drives so i believe this power supply does come uh with i believe uh, 12 uh, sata plugs and i believe five molex and also you get two uh, CPU 8 pin plug as you guys can see here okay and then you also get I believe six uh, 8 pin okay VGA plug for your graphics card okay and then you also have your motherboard 24 pin uh, connection here and then uh, OCK basically for overclocking your 12 rail I don't really mess with that but you guys can see here i will also show you guys the cables real quick now this power supply doesn't come with custom sleeve cables i believe the 850 watt comes with or the thousand watt or maybe the uh dark uh, power pro uh 12 comes with sleeve cables but this one only comes with uh regular cables let me show you all right so there's another box here be quiet dark power pro i don't know why pro is here because this one doesn't come with the uh, custom sleeve cables all right so we have cables here uh, the first one we have here let me open real quick okay so we have here two uh eight pin plug for our cpu all right eight pin nice so basically this 
will be really good for let's put you say x399 third grouper build because some of those motherboard uh do have like two eight pin plugs on the board so yes all right and here we have a uh, motherboard 24 pin cable let me open this real quick and two eight pin vga cable okay these cables are nice and long okay all black and we have here another vga PCA cable. Come on, let me open. All right, so we have two cables here. We have uh, four more uh, VGA uh, eight pin plugs for your graphics card. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so all together we have six eight pin VGA PCA uh, plugs right here. So perfect for SLI, no worries. All right, we have two uh, SATA and Molex uh, cables here. So let me open the first one. Let me see how many cables here. All right, so we have three cables right here. And all together, we should have, let me see, one, two, three, and three, six, seven, eight. So we have eight SATA plugs and then we have two molex plugs right here okay uh, let me check the other cable real quick all right so we have one more sata and i believe molex cable actually okay we have two cables here and we have let me see we have four SATA here on this cable, SATA uh, plugs, and we have three Molex plug on this cable. So all together we have uh, 12 SATA plugs and uh, five Molex plugs. Because we hardly use Molex nowadays. Uh, basically we use Molex for like fan or like RGB and stuff. For our drives, we actually use SATA. So we don't really need that many uh, Molex plugs. Okay, and here we have a good quality uh, power cable. I think 18 gauge or maybe even better and long enough so you guys can see the plug. I don't know if you guys can see, this plug looks really nice. Okay, good quality. Well, I got so many cables here. All right, and here we have some Velcos and zip ties. All right, so how many Velcos here? We have one, two, three, four, five Velcos here with uh, Be Quiet branding. Okay, and we got some zip ties here. One, two, three, four, five, six zip ties. And we got some thumb screws here and some regular screws. Okay. Nice. So my $200 is really, really worth it. And also they included a PCA, um, what I drop. Okay. Also they included a uh, power on and off uh, overclocking switch here. Okay, this one goes to your uh, power supply. I don't really mess with power supply and overclocking, but if you guys want to see like a dedicated video, then let me know. You guys can see right here. Okay, you can, I think, overclock your uh, 12 rel. All right, now let me give you guys quick uh, specs rundown here. So the total power, uh, 744 watt, okay. 750 and then uh, there's multiple 12 rails like I told you guys so um, DC output okay 
Under 3.3 volt, we have 22 amp. A uh, 5 volt, we have uh, 22 amp. And under first uh, 12 rail, we have uh, plus 12 rail, we have 25 amp. Second plus uh, 12 volt, we have 25 amp. And then the third one, 12 rail, we have 30 amp. And the fourth one, we have uh, 12 volt. Uh, 34 amp okay you guys can read the specs hopefully i did show you guys the fan right it does come with i believe 135 millimeter silent wing uh fan right here and this fan is really quiet and keep in mind um this power supply is wireless what i mean by wireless inside the power supply on the circuit board there is no physical like cables running around everything is soldered on the board so actually that's really good for airflow and you guys can see the you know the funnel or whatever you guys want to call okay they redesigned it so it looks really nice and really good for airflow all right so let me plug this power supply and see how this power supply perform i'll just test the noise level okay so let's jump in all right guys, you guys can see I did plug the power supply to my mini test bench right here. Now, please don't mind, I have some low end hardware here because these are the only uh, hardware I had laying around. So yes, I have a RX uh, 470 graphics card here and a Intel i5 uh, 6400 CPU. But the main uh, thing I wanted to show you guys basically how quiet is this power supply? Now we will uh, put some load. We'll run uh, super uh, position benchmark, so you guys can hear how this power supply, uh, you know, perform under load. But like I say, these hardwares here are kind of low end hardwares, and currently I don't have anything um, laying around high end. So bear with me, please. Now you guys can hear the idle fan noise i have uh, my shotgun microphone like four inches away from the power supply right now right now like around 10 inches and yes the fan is on but you can hardly hear the fan Now you guys are maybe, maybe are currently hearing my softbox fan noise, okay? But this power supply is really, really quiet. Okay. So let me run a superposition benchmark real quick. All right, so the superposition uh, benchmark is currently loading. Okay. Now I really like this mesh design. Really nice. Okay, as you guys can see, superposition benchmark is running. I do have the power supply a little far from the graphics card because right now you guys can hear the graphics card noise okay under load but as you guys can hear the power supply noise under load this power supply is really really quiet unlike three inches away from the power supply fan right now so imagine how quiet this power supply will be inside the case
graphics card noise on the load and the power supply noise on the load alright guys so I personally think be quite dark power 12 750 watt is a great power supply for you know like high-end hardwares like you know RTX uh, 3080 graphics card from NVIDIA or RX 6800 or 6800 XT graphics card uh, from AMD or high-end CPU like uh, Ryzen 9 5900X or 5950X uh, definitely worth it. Uh, you guys will find a link in the video's description where you can uh, go buy this power supply or you can just you know check uh, let me know what you guys think and that should be it see you guys next one peace